morning everybody how are we all doing today it feels kind of surreal to be making this vlog today if you watch my channel closely you'll know that I am well when I'm filming this I'm about to be 36 weeks pregnant so this is my official last video before I go on maternity leave for a few months I'm not sure how long yet I know I had a lot of you asking me I don't know until my little boy's here I don't know how it's all gonna go so I'm just gonna leave it at that um but if you want to follow along I will probably post little updates and stuff on Instagram as we go but I think I've said all the way through um, he's not going to be a big part of this channel um, this channel is about me, my life and um, you might just see snippets of him you know in the background and such but I have made myself porridge today Ooh, what's going on here? yeah I've made myself porridge I've been struggling to eat things for breakfast I really have no appetite but this always goes down so well even if I don't manage to eat it all I feel like it's such a nice start to an autumn morning with a pear from our garden and some prunes as well which is so good for your digestive system and lots of delicious milk as well if I sound a bit rough it's because I've been a bit rough I feel 10 out of 10 today I feel great but I have had a really bad cold over the last few days and I was like I can't film this last video no one wants to listen to someone who sounds so poorly and yesterday I had the worst chesty cough but all being well my voice holds out for this video because I feel fine and I just want to make the most of the day um, it's a really foggy morning and I kind of want to go for a lovely walk and just bring you all along for one of our favourites, just a cosy old day, a nice cosy autumn day to finish it off. It feels like such a nice closure for, yeah, just, just for this part of my life and it's the perfect time of year for it as well. So that is my plan. I am going to get ready for the day after I've had my breakfast, but I am slowing down, very much slowing down now um, on the lead up to our little boy arriving and just taking it steady. So I'm very grateful I'm able to do that. But one of those things that I'm trying to do is look after myself. So move my body, eat well, 
she says. <laughs> and yeah, just, just take it slow, connect with my friends, my family, and just enjoy all these last moments of, I suppose, just it being me, even though he is here. He's here, he's just not outside of the world yet. I was thinking that yesterday actually when I went to the shop, I was thinking it's so crazy that he's here. Like he's already here, he's with me, but he's not with me yet. And that transition is gonna be so interesting. I can't wait for it. And I can't wait, his little push chairs there, ready to go. Can't wait to take him on such lovely autumn crispy walks. Um, I've not actually been on like a proper walk yet, so. I'm hoping I can find somewhere nice to go and we get some crispy leaves, but the weather is all over the place. It's supposed to be 22 degrees today, which is not autumn vibes, <laughs> I'm sorry to say. So we shall see, we shall see how it goes, but I'm gonna stop blabbing on. Um, I'm actually getting rather toasty in my big fluffy dressing gown. It's that warm today, so let me eat this very hot breakfast and then I will be back with you shortly. <laughs> a very dark day today so I've got the lights on but I thought I would do a little bump update. I don't think I've done one since maybe like 20 weeks. Um, we are, we are popping. <laughs> Here he is. Oh, he's definitely dropped a bit lower recently and he's such a wriggle bum. So yeah, this is kind of what I've gone for today. I don't know if it's gonna be too hot. It's like a brushed cotton um checkered shirt but i've rolled the sleeves up so we shall see i've just popped a few more curls in my hair it holds the curl really well and thrown some makeup on so i feel a bit more human i've got my little positive affirmation cards here if you can see them i love having them here and i think even after his hair i'm going to keep them because they're just so relevant for everything anyone so whatever i do today will be enough my body is amazing and has done an incredible job i focus on what i am in control of and let go of everything else i think they are philosophies to live by um so yeah here we are 36 weeks oh my goodness where has that time gone i really really don't know <laughs> but i'm gonna head to the post office now and then i'm gonna find somewhere to go for a walk whilst it's nice it, it's kind of spitting, but I think it's due to stop raining soon. So hopefully, fingers crossed it does. I'm gonna put some good boots on so I don't go sliding. I thought I would turn your background this way so you can actually see me better because I am so bad at filming that way. I end up chopping my head off on all sorts. It would have been so nice to have gone for this walk today with Don, but he's at work today. So just me and I was gonna go with my friend. Um, she's got a lovely dog, but um, just didn't work out that way today. So I'm just gonna go by myself. I think it's good walking myself, walking my little boy um, and just getting some fresh air, which I think after you've been a bit unwell, or I think I probably still am a little bit unwell, it's just good to blow the cobwebs away, blow the germs away somewhere else because I don't want them anymore. What are you trying to tell me? <laughs> It was our first wedding anniversary yesterday 
and Echo did not approve of where I put the cards, <laughs> but we'll pop them back up again. Can you believe it's been an entire year? We got some really lovely cards as well. And I wanted to show you all <laughs> this cute little pram suit that I got. So how adorable is this? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I think it might have been wishful thinking trying to film this video today. I feel fine, but I keep coughing and losing my voice. And I'm like, come on. <laughs> How cute is this? Oh my goodness. I actually got this from Vinted. I've got so many baby bits from Vinted, but it's basically brand new being worn. I think she said worn once. It's got little um, cute turnover cuffs. Oh, and it's just the perfect, the perfect little thing. Um, I think it cost me a five roll and all of shipping as well, which is amazing. So definitely look on Vinted. Obviously it's not sponsored by Vinted or anything like that. But I do think that if we can have more of a circular economy, it's so much better, especially with baby things. You know, there is so much stuff out there and they're not in it for five minutes. And I find things like this so good to get secondhand because Literally, people buy them as gifts and baby never fits in them because you don't know how big your baby's gonna be. But I think this is gonna be perfect for us. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Makes me so excited. <laughs> I'm gonna stop hugging my invisible bear now. And um, I'm gonna go for my walk. So I shall see you when we get there. I am back from my walk. I picked myself up a nice iced coffee on the way home because it's actually very warm outside. I was uh, building up a bit of sweat on my walk. <laughs> I tell you what, this is why I don't go to new places. Well, places I'm not like familiar with <laughs> by myself. I got lost. I went the wrong way. There was no signpost. So off I went and I was walking and walking and walking and I was like, this is not what I remember. And so I thought, you know what? I'm gonna turn around. <laughs> so I turned around and on my way back, came across this lovely couple who asked the same question. They were like, is this the way to the nature reserve? And I was like, I've got no idea, but I think it's back there. So yeah, we went, <laughs> we went back um, and anyway, I found it. I found where I wanted to go. And it was, uh, it was a lovely walk. It's so like, 
there's not very much going on there at this time of year and I always forget to go in the summer. Um, we, I've only ever been I think once or twice before and it was in lockdown so that's a long time ago, completely different mood there now, there's lots of lovely friendly dog walkers. The thing I love about it is they have to keep their dogs on leads, I am not a massive fan of other people's dogs. Um, just from some trauma in my childhood so I don't like it when dogs jump up and sometimes it puts me off going for a walk because I think oh no what if I'm on my own and you know there's a dog and it runs from somewhere and I have to deal with it by myself and I know that shouldn't stop me but it does um, because you have to feel safe don't you. So I am losing my voice again. <laughs> I am going to have a bit of a tidy up and just spend some time outside in the garden with the cats whilst it's nice and sunny. Make the most And Rory, oh my god, I don't even know how they've managed it. Rory's on the washing line and Echo has ended up trapping Rory's line and is not happy. I'll be right back. They don't half keep me on my toes, those two boys. <laughs> um, I nipped to the shop, like I said, I picked up some mints because I want to make chilli for tea. If you watched my last videos, you'll know I am on a mission to meal prep and I have been doing a really good job. I think we've got like... 15 or 16 meals in the freezer which is good going <laughs> the OG <laughs> if you watch my channel a lot you'll know that I love this cookbook I swear by it for just good old traditional English food and um, this is one that I want to make probably tomorrow the smoky beef casserole it's so nice and this is the one I've made before on my channel it was like a really cozy autumn vlog I'll leave it down below if you've not watched that one because it was lovely. One of my favourites. So this is the chilli con carne I'm going to make and it actually serves six. So if I just make this for our tea tonight then I can freeze four portions which will feel like such a good thing to do. So I'm going to make this later on um, ready for Dom getting home and I picked up some garlic bread and we'll have it with some rice I think. But there are so many amazing recipes in here. There's like desserts, um, there is a really good where is it? Yorkshire pudding recipe. If you don't know how to make Yorkshire puddings, these are foolproof. They work so well every single time. Um, but yeah, Dom's little niece came yesterday and she brought <laughs> some little cupcakes. And my friend, when she came last, was it a few days ago, she brought a cookie. So I might have a cookie, enjoy my iced coffee in the garden, and I'll catch up with you guys in a little while once I've uh, yeah, just had a bit of time in the fresh air, enjoying some more fresh air as if I didn't have enough fresh air. That walk took me an awfully long time but um, feel good for it, even if it feels like I'm carrying the most ginormous heavy bowling ball at the minute. <laughs> it's just waddling my way, way around like oh my goodness don't start labour now, <laughs> a bit too early. But uh, what will be will be and I just want to make sure I am moving my body, makes me feel so much better. So if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know I got the cats this, um, it calls itself a self-heating cat pad. It's basically got like an insulated layer in between and you can wash the actual cover, which is fab. But the cats love it so much. You <laughs> just see Echo just in his element over there. So I am just going to get ahead a bit now. I'm doing a bit of editing, a bit of work. And I've got this um, top of my dad's, it's his like night top. He managed to um, pull a button off or someone managed to pull a button off, I'm not really sure what's happened but it's completely pulled. I bet he's like pulled it with his hand and it's ripped or you know whatever when they've been transferring him so I'm gonna have an attempt. I think I need to put two more buttons on actually it smells really nice. They must have washed it with some really nice smelling washing powder. Um, so I might put a button there and a button there because there is no saving that. I don't even know where the button is. So hopefully I can locate some buttons. But that's what I'm going to get up to this afternoon before I start making tea. Thank you. 
dark so fast now I managed to get this sorted so that's good tea is in the oven it takes an hour and a half it says but I'm just gonna go with an hour I feel like an hour and a half is a very long time for something that's already cooked so yeah that's that whilst I was doing my dad's top I was listening to the English homemaker who I wanted to give like a little bit of a shout out um I really really like her I think she's called Alyssa Alicia I can't remember what her name is, but she's a lovely, lovely person. And if you're into English homemaking content, I feel like you're going to really like her podcast. She's also got a YouTube channel, so I'll make sure I leave those down below for any of you out there who <laughs> are after someone to fill, I don't know if I should say the void, it sounds quite big headed, but <laughs> obviously I'm going to be taking a bit of leave so you can watch all my old videos. I've got millions on this channel for you to go back in time and enjoy. But yeah, um, if I find any really good people in the meantime, I'll definitely shout them out over on Instagram just so you guys have got things to watch as well. But really like her, listen to all of her podcasts now, <laughs> um, all the episodes. She's just put out a new series, so I'm just cracking through those now. I was listening to them in the car on the way to the nature reserve and then I was like, I'm just going to keep listening to them because I'm trying so hard to stay in breath <laughs> but also um to not watch so much tv i really don't want to have too much screen time especially with my maternity leave i just want to enjoy the simple things i think sometimes podcasts are underrated there's something you can listen to and keep your mind occupied ticking over learning whilst you're also doing something productive so for example <laughs> doing this don't get me wrong sometimes it's nice to just sit in complete silence but yeah, I do like to have a bit of something in the background, especially when I'm at home on my own all day, because it does make for, you know, lonely days sometimes, and having some background music or something in the background does make it just that little bit nicer. I'm sure some of you would be able to relate to that if you work from home yourselves as well. But yeah, that is that, so I'm just going to enjoy um, pottering around in the kitchen, getting all my tidying up done. You know, I like to wash up as I go, so I'm going to crack on with that. And then Dom should be home in no time at all and we can have a lovely, lovely cosy evening. It's getting dark so much earlier now and it makes my soul happy. <laughs> bittersweet to be sat here right now as I always do as I always like to finish my vlogs usually off in bed um, but we are here and I've had a really lovely lovely day I am very tired now though and I'm definitely ready to put my legs up got myself a nice hot cup of tea as always <laughs> ever the tradition if you ever wonder what I'm up to at this time of night I'm sat in bed 
with a hot cuppa, probably watching some kind of series. It's been lovely to bring you all along, especially on my pregnancy journey, and you've all been so supportive, so kind, and just so lovely. And I feel really, really grateful for this community. I just want you all to know I will be back in the future. I'm just not quite sure when yet, but thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you for being here. As I've said in my previous videos, and maybe in this one as well, if you wanna keep in touch with me, um, I will probably update on Instagram every now and then, just drop in, pop in and say hello, but I won't be working now for the foreseeable, so I'm just gonna leave it at that. I will probably announce when our little boy is born, because I know a lot of you are interested. <laughs> um, if you don't have Instagram, I'll pop it on the community tab, just to keep you all in the loop, because I know, I know it's, um, it's an interesting thing, <laughs> the internet and having these relationships where we don't really know each other but you know I share so much of my life and I'm the same with people I watch you know you get invested you get invested in people's lives so I completely appreciate that but just want to say a huge huge thank you to all for your kindness your support and your patience with me as well I've got plenty <laughs> plenty of videos to keep you occupied while I'm gone if you miss me and you want to watch some more videos from me so I'll always leave them in my description box down below but you can just head over to my channel and you can see all that there is to see have a little trip back in time <laughs> feels kind of weird to do my outro and say I'll see you all in my next video but I suppose I will depending on if you watch <laughs> more of my old videos but yeah thank you so much and um wish me all the best on my next adventure into motherhood the next time we see each other I will be a changed woman <laughs> I'm so excited anyway I'm gonna stop talking. Have an amazing day wherever you are in the world and I shall see you all very soon. Bye.